Why can't you just walk into a store and take something? <laughs> then walk out. Like, who is going to stop you? Walmart stopped funding that greeters, so you could just walk in, take whatever, and walk out. As long as it doesn't have one of the things that make the alarms by the door go off. That's actually a, an unspoken law. If what? no one sees you, then you're good. It's like, oh, you got us. If, sh if sh you're saying shoplifting is legal, if you can cross the barrier and nobody mm -hmm. sees you, the mm -hmm. statute of limitations on that is until you get to your car. Yeah. And then once you're there, it's ollie ollie oxen free. I mean, that's the question. The qu if the question is why don't you do that, the answer is everybody does all the time. Yeah. You've just described the exact uh, uh, conditions through which everyone is stealing everything. Is it, everyone's doing I've and never shoplifted anything in my life. Is can I, I what I've never understood you can just grab the thing and walk out the door and even if somebody's like, "Hey, you can't do that. I work at Walmart. You have to pay for that." What's stopping you from just being like, "No, and there's really not anything you can do to stop me and then getting in your car and driving away?" <laughs> I mean, you can't do that. They can, can't they detain you? Can't but, they chain no, you? No, they to can't. You know why? Cuz I'm a fucking adult. And they aren't, they have no legal authority over me. So wait, Griffin, are you implying that all of capitalism is just a smokescreen and we only do it because we think we have to do it? I'm saying that the societal norms are all entirely projected into our own minds by ourselves and our teachers. I'm saying if I go to Target right now, I can pick up a, a fucking a PlayStation 3 and walk out the door and someone's like, hey, you can't take that. I work at Target. And I can say, you're not my dad, like later. <laughs> later and oh, i can hop okay. on my skateboard that i've been riding through target the entire time because nobody can fucking they can't touch me that's for fucking it's sure. like a hot target is is like a haunted house rules they can't touch they you. can't touch you they're not gonna there's a there's a security guard by the door he's not a fucking ordained by the city I, my taxes don't pay his his salary he's not gonna fucking shoot me later yeah. if if you ever his want to have some fun, his gun squirts mustard. His gun like, there's no way he can't. <laughs> That's stop why he sits you. by the fucking food court. He is not a cop. Later, dog. Later. <laughs> if you ever want to have some fun, if you're at like a big box store, um, trust me, as someone who worked in loss prevention, they won't do shit until you try to leave with it, even if they watch you do it. So just make eye contact with someone in the electronics department and put something down your pants, and then just before you leave. <laughs> Pull it, it back, back out and put it on a shelf. Okay, and yeah. then just walk out and go, bye, everybody. And, like, you Or, done... can I give you an alternative theory? Just shove it down your pants and walk the fuck out of the store because they're not cops. I wouldn't shoplift from a cop store, a cop goods <laughs> store staffed entirely by cops because they're going to fucking you... enforce that shit. Travis, what could you actually do to someone you thought was stealing? Um... Like what? What was my process? Crack this open. Crack open how fucking okay. impotent these dudes are. They it really is. Shit. Okay, oh, listen. I don't want to put all security guards on blast because I feel like I'm betraying my brotherhood. But here's the thing, you guys. the The amount of quality, like the amount of things that you have to prove before you can even have someone arrested. Right. Like here's the thing. I could watch you, Griffin McElroy, do it. Right. Yeah. Steal and I, something. And you know, I'm I'm fucking going to after this goddamn podcast. And then if you, if I lost eye contact, like if I lost visuals on you and you were just gone and then showed back up, I couldn't do shit. Couldn't do Because I couldn't prove, all you would have to say is like, no, I put it back. Hey, that's not cool. I'm going to call real cops. All right. They'll be here in like 20 minutes. Later. Later. My car is 20 feet away. Bye. The point Griffin is making is not that, it's not about whether or not they see you do it. What he's saying is they can watch you do it. Watch you walk out the door, mm -hmm. and they cannot do anything. They can't uh -huh. do fucking anything because they're not a cop or my dad. If my dad was working loss prevention, he's like, "Now, son, don't." <laughs> like, all right, I'll put it back, and I put it back. <laughs> but get, they, very rarely would that happen because my dad doesn't work retail. That would be a sweet, like, some sort of a uh, uh, a duel between they bring on Clint. Because he's the only one that can stop mm. Griffin. It'll be sort of a Thomas Crown affair vibe. I think Griffin's that's... like rappelling through the ceiling, and Dad like cuts the string. Except by rappelling scissors. through the ceiling, you, you mean like just walking just in the walking door in and taking picking shit. up a handful of boxes of Mike and Ike's and walking out. I, if you think I would go that small, I mean I will go that small. I'll go small to big. I'm not paying for shit anymore. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I actually, I don't believe in shoplift. It makes me so sad because I know who it affects. So what I do is I go in and I pick up the thing and then I leave like a, a clay pot I've made. 
Or some okay. like shiny stones. You right. like you, so you like covert bartering, basically. Yeah. You like very well, I know that they bartering. can't they can't say yes to it because then everybody would do it. But I know that they appreciate those sand dollars. It's like um like farting in yoga class. That's that is what I equate shoplifting to is like farting in yoga class. Because what's the what you you've done inventory at a major retail chain before? I have two. I imagine Justin has two since he's worked about twenty eight retail jobs. It's it's like. You know, typically 75, 80%. And then the other shit gets just straight up cribbed. And when someone, if you become a cog in that machine, you're literally just a drop in the bucket. You're adding 0.0001 to the, the shoplifting rate at that point. Like, it doesn't matter. Most, most of it. Most of I do want to drop. When I worked at Best Buy, I had like 10 fools arrested. Yeah. yeah. How? Travis, how? Because I called the cops before they tried to leave. But you the said cops are waiting us until on, they try to leave. Which until is they it? try to leave, and so then the the people would walk out the door, and the cops would fucking you know how shoop, come in. Our, no, okay, Did Travis. You how on earth? Because I was fucking on point. You're right, right. No, was, with your profiling. <laughs> no, because I want. Be, okay, so this is why there are greeters because people come in and you say hi, and like your normal average person goes, "Oh hi," and then people who are coming so in to steal shit, here, they're like, "Can't talk." I just, <laughs> no, there are people that would come in and suddenly be, they'd be so surprised that a human being was like a, a, acknowledging them. They're like, "What?" Oh, oh, hi. Too busy. Keep, in too which busy. You gotta in, steal something. In which Can't aisle talk. is your small and valuable things? <laughs> <laughs> About pocket sized, please. Do you have that special belt that loosens your pants? <laughs> the thing is, is like, all you have to do is watch people. And people, like I said, are not exactly master thieves. So they're like looking around all shady and like hiding stuff. And like, I'm not, I'm going to give you one last chance at this before I just declare your entire form of profession made up. You uh -huh. can't physically stop people as they're leaving the store, correct? If someone went, all right, let's let's paint a hypothetical. No, no, no. I I can, I have to prove that they were bypassing the check. You can't fucking touch them though. You can't grab them by the script. That's what I'm saying. If someone walked into the store uh, and went, I hardly let me finish. Disagree. Let me finish my scenario. Someone walks in the store, goes full blown supermarket sweep in two and a half minutes, just like runs through the phone aisle like wee, just like knocking shit into their giant pants, and then runs mm -hmm. out. You can't do what, shit about that scenario. I would, I would tackle the shit out of them. You can't. That's an assault. That's assault, and you go to jail. I don't want that happening to you, my brother. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do very well in prison. I'm just saying. But you here's wouldn't the thing. To, you would. I you, would though. The settlement would pay for all the shit that he was going to steal, and then you'd be back to square one. You're I, not Batman. I don't know why. Hey, actually, the first time I had someone arrested, I jumped up and down in celebration so hard I hurt my ankle. <laughs> Just like Batman does.